popular Nigerian singer, YBNL Princess Timmy Owasa, uh, who has finally reconciled with her former record label owner, Olamide, and she shared the good news on social media. The talented singer, who is also known as a YBNL Princess, like I said earlier, shared a tweet where she said that her issues with Olamide has been resolved. According to Afefe Krona, which I don't know, they had a meeting <laughs> and the differences had been settled. Tweeting further, the music stars said that they were still family and remember i said this yesterday that is the same thing that's mm. going to happen exactly i said this was going to because the same thing happened with lighter now is it that you didn't fully understand your no, contract it is that there is a problem in that place and they're always and trying it's to only cover it when up. they scream out that they anybody wants to do out. something about something it is too clear it is too mm. clear that that's what's happening. Is that how you say it, though? That's what it is. If, oh, Do you think that um, they, they probably shouldn't be talking about certain things at certain times without understanding certain um, uh, parts of their contract? Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be talking about things without understanding that. You, you, we know that it is a fact that in this part of the world, a lot of these artists, because of their desperation. Now, this girl told you how she was brought from Ilori mm -hmm. to Lagos. Mm -hmm. Are you, do you think that there is a possibility? Because I spoke to her. If, 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 if that's the case, I, then there's, that's also a problem, <clears throat> which is which is part of the things that she's screaming about. If your contract, problem is if your, the contract. How? And, and Olami, if your if your contract can oh, wow. state that you bring somebody from Ilori. Mm. Keep them here for five years and only give them one song. What you don't in, see any problem with that kind of contract. No, what if it, in that contract, I say in five years, I need you to have given me six singles. And out of six singles, I give you... Six singles in five years. Wait, I'm just saying that if that is what the contract states... Start you, with that. Wait, that is a problem. That was what I start. Wait, no, no, it's not a problem. It is my T and C's. Terms and conditions apply. Okay. I have put it there. Okay. You are... Uh, you, 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 you went to school, okay. you can read, mm -hmm. you can get a lawyer, you read it, and you still went ahead to sign it. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, it's mm -hmm. my contract. Mm -hmm. You didn't... Is this hypothetical or for princess? No, I, hypothetically okay. speaking. Right. You, didn't, you didn't question me. You didn't challenge it like, ah, bah, mm -hmm. five years, only mm -hmm. six tracks mm -hmm. you get. And you went ahead because of, ah, I just want to be part of the YBNL. Mm -hmm. It's a family. Mm -hmm. It's um, the Olamide uh -huh. so thing. Then... And then you signed it. And then a few years later, and then I come back and I revisit that. Con like, sis, look at your contract. I said I'm going to be doing five songs. Out of five songs, I did four. Did I try? Yes or no? Is it a pass mark? Yeah, but that's not what this is. So let's it, not... I said hypothetically okay, speaking. Okay. So what if that is the case and they had to revisit the contract? Well, that's not the case. You don't know that. Because she's saying to you, if it, did you not read the write-up? Yeah, I did. Yeah, and, and, uh, does that imply like somebody that's saying that this contract is unfair? She's saying that why have we not done more songs? If she cannot ask on grounds that she does not have. The same thing with Lighter. The same thing with the person before, like, come on, if it, What if it's that a hypo, man? That, hypothet that hypoth hypothetical situation is too perfect for Olamide and does not in any way acknowledge no, anything though. that you the person to, has said. You need said. to always remember that music executives are also all about making their money. They are not thinking and about... How much how, money do you want to make <clears> from one song a year? If you are commit. No, I'm not talking about him making... I'm talking about... After your first two songs, how much did you make for me for me to keep shooting and keep producing you? That's another thing people need to understand. That if after two years of being with you, you have not been able to give me anything that's bringing cannot, anything to the table. You cannot feel that way from, from four songs in five years. Are you kidding? Really? Yes, When really? there are people who drop one song and you just knew that, man, this guy is a mega superstar. Look at Fireboy. I'm getting jealous. It, it, so, from it, that it, moment on, I knew this boy was a star boy. No whiskey. Okay, so therefore, <laughs> anybody else who isn't a one hit, as in first hits, first first wonder, then I'm not going to invest. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm that's just saying that saying. that is a good start for me to want to keep putting my money in. Okay, okay, this is this is my opinion. We're, we're going too far with the hypothetical. Yeah, um, let's here, keep going hypothetical Princess, mm -mm, for, I'm not in the mood for that one. Mm. Princess came out to say that this is not what was promised. Why are you crushing my dreams? So your hypothetical does not fit her situation. She has already said what. Okay, so why did she give us some to... further information after this, after the meeting? She said that uh, we've crushed our beef, and then oh, can you not see that that what, was what, that, 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 that obviously she was she was inclined to say? Wait, if I, if I, if I, let me. Oh, ask. are we gonna play that card now? Like, oh, she was she was she was under duress to put that out. No, not duress. Listen, you and I know that that mm. situation is still ongoing, right? 
Han Olamide will still have a long time to figure whatever it is out and how to make everybody happy. Mm. So she's tweeting that. That's for formalities. Mm. To say it's been resolved because she's mm. not produced a song. Mm. So it has not technically been resolved. There's still a future ahead for both of them to work together. And I'm guessing the resolve is that they are willing to work together going forward so all parties are going to be happy. Mm. That's what that means. So don't act like her tweet is saying full stop, the story, and the wahala has finished. That's well, not what she's saying. Well, well, we'll have to find that out because... You cannot, um, if it, so are you telling <clears> me that you don't see that there is a problem with the way he works and that that's why his artist keeps coming out to cry for help? This is the second person who's come out. And that's not enough. It's not enough. Okay. And why? Why do I say it's not enough? Even Adekunle Gold, who is doing very well for himself now, or Leo Cash, who is still doing very well for himself, or uh, uh, who else came out from, um, um, what's it called, YBNL? Who else came out from YBNL? Oh, please help me out here. Um, uh, there are like three that are really doing you very... You mentioned three already, so... Uh, Adekule Gold, uh, Lil Cash, and who else? Fireboy. Uh, no, fire. okay, okay, we can show you Fireboy. If those three are actually still doing well, and all the other ones, and two people came out, and one of them was a recording, I mean, was a management deal, mm -hmm. and he came out, and he also came out to apologize to Olamide, and now this other one that we don't even know the terms of our contract. Now, remember, during Lighter's case, Olamide reacted. He granted an interview. He explained that this guy is not my artist. I am only running a management company where he is signed to mm. as it's just a management cap um capacity is not like I he's mean, my full-on artist yeah we understand so that, until but that comes out i no, i'm, no, I'm no, so no, sorry no, no. i if think I, maybe just... i'm missing my point <clears throat> i'm not saying that um what's it called olamide is the evil jo um king of the jungle in just think it's a contract YBNL. i'm th i'm saying that you cannot remove all responsibility and say that and, and take it off Olamide and put it just just on the artist because even with that interview you cannot tell me that that was communicated to Lighter properly and he will have come out to do what he did well, so in my opinion and what I what I know about the music industry which I'm quite invested in at least since I've been in this country when you sign someone it is a lot of work hmm. and you want and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I am pretty sure when you were signing those people, you were telling them how much you've got them and that, you know, we'll just do this thing together. It's a vibe. You know, we've got you, family. And I know YBNL has that, like, family vibe as well. For you to bring somebody all the way from Ilori to Lagos, you're, you're, you're quite committed. Nobody does that. Not just, you don't do that for just every single person you have a management contract with. You could have managed somebody. So when you get to Lagos so and you, do and you start doing that, your own thing, wait, what am I you, supposed wait, to do? Wait, wait. When you do all of that, you have to be invested in that. And the thing is a lot of work. You have to keep in communication mm, with them. True. Artists, even when you are giving them the right vibes, they're still complaining because nobody can love your passion like the way you do. So they always mm. have a problem with that. You have to keep in touch. And when you now start to have more than one or two or three artists, it gets a lot heavier. Mm. For me, I'm not going to dismiss both people coming out, especially the ones who need the help, not the Olami days, and not the Adekunle's and the Fire Boys. Ah, because those ones, those ones are already. Don't look at Adekunle go from where he is right now. Look at it from what where I'm he saying started right, from. Right, right, right. Did he, he start had... with? He did start with YBNL, did he? Yes, he did. Sis. He started he did. with YBNL. Yes. Oh, okay. That's okay. where he started. Adekunle go was a swagless guy. No disrespect. No swag. But I completely. feel like he started before and he was he, indie and had. And bad boy. Or, or your state or something. He was also brought from another. He wasn't a Lagos bred yeah. boy. Yeah, but it just because it didn't happen with all, um, all um, um, what's it called? Uh, and it doesn't mean it cannot happen with somebody else now, if fair. Uh... I'm just saying, out of seven, if two are the only ones saying and five are good, come on, Olamide don't try. I'm not saying Olamide did not try. All I was trying to even explain is that there's a lot of work that goes into signing people. Sometimes you can get it wrong with, with not, I mean, you don't get it right with everybody. True. Sometimes you might deprive somebody else because. Because you're focused on somebody else. Mm. I didn't know the Olamide is still just one person with one, <laughs> one pocket and all of that and one stream of or how many stream of incomes he has. It's just him. He's the only person as the president of YB that's so far that I checked. Do you mm. get what I mean? So it's possible for you to deprive somebody else even if it's unintentional. And it seems like getting them to social media and crying out is when he's now like, ah, okay. He now tells them the thing they need to hear to calm them down and all of that. That doesn't mean that he's a bad person. I'm not going to put him in the same category mm -hmm. as Judo Koye, for example, which that one was like extremely wild and all of that. There was abuse and there was exploitation. This one just seems like they are neglected because he has a law on his plate. That's all I'm saying.